So at this point, you're working for somebody. You're running yeah. their gym. And how does Pat Damiano Fitness kind of take form, take shape? Like, like, what motivated you to say, you know what, man, I've had enough of doing this for the man. I want to do this <laughs> for myself. And had that, had that start. So it was very gradual over time. This whole process, probably over a four-year period, where I was just teaching 25 or so classes a week. Um, that was in addition to my managerial type of stuff. I then started, I got a client, a personal training client. There's a lot more money in personal training than teaching group fitness. And then I got another client and then another client. I just started to see the financial benefits of personal training. I also kind of felt that it was, an, it was working better than group fitness. Group fitness has its place, but then personal training does as well. And I just started to kind of see myself as more of a personal trainer. And I just started getting more clients, getting more clients. I was busier. The finances are better in personal training. So I slowly just started to kind of take away at my classes and build up my clientele, took some classes away, build up the clientele until it was to the point where it was just, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but it just wasn't worth my time to teach group no, fitness No, no, no. I, 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 believe me, I totally understand it. At this point, approximately how old are you? When I completely stopped teaching group fitness. I taught my last class. I was probably 26 because I think that was right before COVID. Yeah, I think I was around 26. So about 26. Are you living home? Yes. So you're still living home, but you still made the decision. You're probably not paying rent. You got great parents, yeah. like great family, the Italian moms cooking you dinner. I mean, spoiling the hell out of you. Um, but it was that glaring that, that, that the financial yeah. impact.